We're here today to talk about the 113. My name is Mike Dunlap. I'm from Metro State in Denver, Colorado. And we've had a lot of success with this defense. We've had an inordinate amount of people come in and investigate the process of building the 113 matchup zone. And uh, so this is our first time of formalizing any kind of a video and putting structure to something that we learn by trial and error. We've done an inordinate amount of research uh, in terms of Don Casey, the Temple of Zone, John Cheney at Temple University, and Lute Olson with his 113 matchup at Arizona. And those are people that I point to where we've actually stolen ideas. But the key idea here is that the 113, R113, is predicated on man-to-man -man principles exclusively. Very rarely do we work out of a 113 structure in practice. We build the 113 through our exclusive man-to-man -man drills. Whoa. So without further ado, we'd like to talk about three concepts which are fundamental to the success of the 113. Number one being ball pressure, number two being rotation, and number three being rebounding. Those three things are trademarks and we've worked our way to five major points uh, that embed us in the 113. And number one would be ball pressure. And when the 113 breaks down, it's because our ball pressure is bad. And we stick to that uh, as an axiom. And when we lose, we find out whether we're truly committed to the 113 matchup zone. It's an unusual defense that puts the offense at peril in terms of rhythm. Basically, what we're trying to do with our extreme ball pressure is break the rhythm of our opponent. And I think that through the years we've had success in doing that. The only way that you can build any defense is through habit. And so we have tried to make a habit of disrupting our opponent's offense. In talking about the premier point of the 113, we have to discuss ball pressure. And ball pressure to us is getting into the neutral zone or that six inch zone where the offensive player is trying to operate with the ball to either shoot it, drive it, or pass it. We want to impact that area. So in the 1-1-3, if the ball is here, we want him